Welcome to our proof of the derivative of f of x equals a to the x. We'll prove the derivative of a raised to the power of x with respect to x is equal to natural log a times a to the x. So to begin, we'll let y equal a raised to the power of x, and therefore by the definition of a logarithm, we can write the equivalent log equation as log base a of y equals x. And let's take a look at this more closely. If we begin with a, raised to the power of x equals y, applying the definition of a logarithm, the equivalent log equation would be log base a of y equals x. And now we'll use this equation here to find the derivative of y with respect to x because y equals a raised to the power of x. So we have the derivative of log base a of y with respect to x is equal to the derivative of x with respect to x. Notice on the left side, because we have a term containing y, so we have to perform implicit differentiation, and so we'll have an extra factor of dy dx due to the chain rule. Also, if we know the derivative formula for log base a of x with respect to x, we could use this to find the derivative of the left side, or if we don't know this derivative formula, we can use the change of base formula given here. And for this proof, we'll use the change of base formula where log base a of y is equal to natural log y divided by natural log a. Let's also look at this more closely. Looking at our change of base formula here, if we have log base a of y, we can write this as a quotient of two logarithms with any base. So if we select base e, we could have log base e of y divided by log base e of a, but we know log base e is natural log, so we have natural log y divided by natural log a. So this is how we obtain this quotient here, where notice how natural log a would just be a constant. So when we find the derivative of this left side with respect to x, we'd have one over natural log a, that's our constant, times the derivative of natural log y with respect to x, which would be one over y times dy dx, and this is equal to the derivative of x with respect to x, which is one. And now to solve this equation for dy dx, we'd multiply both sides by natural log a, and also multiply both sides by y. And because we have a one on the right side, this gives us dy dx equals natural log a times y, and since y is equal to a to the x, we have our proof. The derivative of a to the x with respect to x is equal to natural log a times a to the x. I hope you found this helpful.